It's been a rough year on the court for Chicago State. After last night's loss to conference leading New Mexico State, the Cougars fell to 4-23. and But that record doesn't tell the whole story about a team that's battled hard every single night and is facing an even tougher fight off the court. They're still practicing like normal at Chicago State, even if the Cougars can't be sure how long the lights will be on in this gymnasium. I mean, uncertainty is real, you know, especially for a guy like me coming from junior college. So, it's, you know, if this closes down, it's kind of like, then what? University officials have said the doors could close next month if a state budget isn't passed, leaving dozens of scholarship athletes out in the cold. We're really talking about life and death. Because if, you, if these young men and young women are not at Chicago State, they're probably involved in street activities. We really are having to stay encouraging them to keep the main thing the main thing, and the main thing is to get your education. Chicago State is functioning without 30% of its budget while also covering student grants. More than $4 million has gone from the athletic department trying to function at the Division I level. That's left positions unfilled, coaches and staff filling in for study halls, and forced lots of creativity when it comes to travel. Well, one thing that uh, we are not going to just ever negotiate is the experience that our students have. And so we have had to do some things as coaches, as administrators. That pretty much just shows how close it is here. It's more like a family, more than just a regular school. So I really, we really appreciate the bond that we have with everybody here and how close everybody is. In the past, it was Chicago State accused of financial mismanagement. A December audit, however, found little. Now it's the students and athletes caught between a Republican governor who blames Democrats for not supporting current legislation and those same Democrats who say they already did in the budget the governor vetoed last summer. When you talk about denying them the opportunity to change their lives, because we all know academics and education is the true equalizer, and so you try and threaten to take those opportunities away from them. We killing the American dream. The one we step out of lines is back to reality. You know, for some of the seniors, it's like, what's next? And meanwhile, coaches and teachers say they'll stay on through the semester, even if the funds run out. A couple of my teachers actually told me that they will work for free. They say it doesn't matter if they pay them or not. They're coming in and they're working. We're planning to be here in the fall, fully ready, moving forward. The Cougars wore these shirts last night for warm-up, showing solidarity with other schools around the state that are unfortunately dealing with the same issue. Sylvie, take the politics out of this for a second. These are kids that are caught in the middle, and that's really unfortunate. Chicago State's a Division I basketball program. They've had more good times recently than they have in a lot of years. That gym that you were showing during your package there is a great gym. I, I've seen a Division I basketball game there when Southern played there a couple of years ago, so you hate to see what Tracy Dildy and that team is going through. Obviously, it's a, a problem that you hope they fight through and that they're playing basketball for several years to come. Yeah, no question about it. For those kids, they deserve to be able to play basketball where they were offered a scholarship, and that's, yeah. that's something that's special for people, and they should be able to take advantage of that.